foodie friends, I'm Charlene, the hot chef. It's Oktoberfest, and we have an awesome Oktoberfest German beer cheese soup recipe just waiting for you. Stay tuned. They're whipping up delicious dishes. It must be the Chef Adventures. Chef Adventures! Welcome back. At Chef Adventures, we love Oktoberfest, and we have a slew of Oktoberfest recipes that you're gonna see throughout this whole episode in the iCards above and in the description box below. So I've been waiting to make this soup for you, so let's get cooking. All right, guys, we're gonna begin with six slices of diced bacon. We're gonna get it in our pan and brown it up. Now that the bacon's been browned, we are going to remove it, put it and put it aside for later because we're going to use the bacon fat to cook the rest of our vegetables. So we're going to cook our one whole diced onion and one whole grated carrot. All right, the carrots and the onion have been cooking here for about three to four minutes. Next, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter and two cloves of minced garlic. As soon as this butter melts, we're going to add our flour to create our roux. Now that our butter is melted, it's time to add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour to create our roux, which will thicken our beer cheese soup. And uh, cook this down for a few minutes to get the floury taste out of it. Next, we're adding one cup of chicken stock, and we're gonna whisk it in gently our vegetables and roux mixture. We're going to be adding our German beer. This is Hofboy. I've used this beer in cooking before. I used it in our three ingredient beer bread last year. See that in the I card? And you're gonna pour in your beer. It's really important that you use a pale ale, like a Pilsner. Because if you use something a little bit more hoppy or darker, it's gonna leave your Oktoberfest German beer cheese soup a little on the bitter side. Oh yeah, this smells so good. We're gonna add our two cups of half and half. This is gonna be amazing. All right, the soup's been working for a minute. Now we have to add our one teaspoon of ground mustard. Going in. Also have our one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then we're gonna do um, salt and pepper to taste. So let's incorporate this and add our salt and pepper. Not too much salt because you already have the chicken stock, the bacon fat, and the cheese. The cheese is gonna be um, a salt factor too. As you can see, this moves along really fast. We have our three cups of shredded cheddar. This is sharp, finely sliced cheddar. Helps it melt quicker. We're gonna add that in. Little by little. And make sure that it's room temperature. You don't wanna add the cheese cold straight out of the fridge because if you do then it's probably going to coagulate on you and you definitely don't want that. Keep this at a medium to low. If you keep it at a medium to low you're going to be just fine. We're going to keep on adding the cheese till it's all gone. We have about one cup left to incorporate. go. Wow. It's nice and thick and 
creamy. All right, you guys, this came together really quick. It probably took us no more than 20, 25 minutes. The soup is smelling like awesome. It's so creamy and smooth. The roux did a spectacular job of putting it all together. And I can't wait to get that bacon on there and give this a taste test. All right, guys, I'm ready for this taste test. This smells so good. Um, so I'm gonna garnish with sour cream to cool it all down because this is super hot. And then we're gonna use our bacon that we cooked earlier. Sprinkle that on top. Oh yeah. And then some green onion. I'm serving this today with toasted pumpernickel and toasted pretzel buns. So let's see, let's give it a shot. Mm. You really taste that beer. The sour cream kind of cools it all off. The green onion gives it that pop of freshness. You can really taste the smokiness of the bacon. Really, really good, you guys. I really hope that you can make this beer cheese soup for your family. I know that they're gonna love it. I wanna thank you all for watching. I wanna thank you for subscribing. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Any questions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. And the full recipe will be in the description box below. Cheers to you guys, or as the Germans would say, Prost! Have a great night.